Hi everybody, in this video I want to talk to you about the Anaconda distribution of Python and the basics on how to download and install it. Um, Anaconda is just Python, but it comes pre-packaged with a lot of data science um, modules. Um, these are modules that are used a lot in statistics, econometrics, data science, um, and so by installing Anaconda, you're installing Python, but Python with a bunch of extra um, modules that you would otherwise have to install yourself. So it really kind of uh, gets you ahead of the game and um, and sets you up to just uh, start start diving straight into the data. Um, so what you're going to do here is go to anaconda.com at the products you'll find the individual edition click that download button and download the appropriate um, package for your computer and so once you've got it downloaded you go through the steps and when you do um, if this is your first time installing Python even though it says not recommended here um, I do recommend uh, checking this box it's gonna make it easier to access all of the uh, all of the modules and tools within Anaconda um, and so go ahead and check that box and that'll that'll prevent some headaches uh, in the future so um, once you've done that the only one other thing I want to mention in this first video is how important it is to be organized with your code and your data and everything else uh, that you're using um, for programming. So what I recommend is in your file explorer go directly to the root, um, the C directory and within that directory <clears throat> make a data folder and make a Python folder. Inside data I Inside of this, I keep all the data that I use um, for for everything that I would that I would do. And then within Python, I've got some folders, but then within here you have scripts um, that are actually running code. And so everything's broken out. You can make you know you can make folders depending on the project. You could make one for this class, right? Um, or or anything else. So I really recommend. Um, because it'll be easier in the end um, to access these, put them straight into the root of the computer um, so that, that you can quickly create a file path within your code to get you straight away to the most important um, things you're going to be needing. Um, and just to kind of show you that on a very brief level, um, here to run the command prompt, so you can do the Windows button R if you're on a computer, if you're on a Windows computer, Windows button R, and that'll get you this pulled up, or on the Start menu, type in Command Prompt. Um, Anaconda also has a command prompt, um, but that's going to get you here. Same as if you do this and you type in CMD for command, that's also going to get you there. Okay, and so. Um, there's my computer, but you can see it's all with this root of C colon slash. Um, and so I guess I won't get into, you can change the directory in here. Oops. And that'll get you to the root, uh, the root directory. And then from there, you know, you can go into your Python folder or you could go into your data folder um, and you can you can do stuff there. But then you see the directory here is so small. So instead of having C colon slash users slash WHLit slash desktop slash Python slash all this extra stuff, all you have to do is type in C colon slash data um, once we're actually getting into coding um, and once you're actually pulling data sets. Um, so it just makes it super easy to, to access everything you need. So again, it's super important to keep yourself um, to keep yourself organized. Um, also, have some general naming mechanism in your, you know, in for example your scripts. So, for example, um, these are the first eleven scripts in the textbook, um, and so if you 
you know, name them as they are and, you know, just have, have a general uh, formality and standardization to the names of your folders and the names of your files, that's going to um, save you a lot of time down the road. All right, um, so that's that's in terms of setup. Um, in the next in the next series of videos, we're going to be going through and actually um, building out our first Python codes and building up to what we're going to be needing to do some econometrics. All right, thanks everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.